Um, while I still believe in some classical attributes, virtues, uh, tact, charm, a good sense of curiosity, but always in a combination also with discreetness, because in the end, your work as a professional diplomat is about building confidence, trust, and uh, in order to gain that trust of your counterpart, in order to have um, the, the marche de manoeuvre for your work, um, it takes a while in order to, to build up this trust. And uh, for that, hospitality, of course, is also important. Knowledge, uh, mastering well the language of the country where you're posted, uh, because there might be a time of a certain inactivity, but in times of crisis, let's assume there's a major hostage crisis, for instance, uh, you're supposed to know whom to call, let's say at four o'clock in the morning, to, to take care of your citizens, just as an example. When I served as junior, junior diplomat, I entered the Austrian Foreign Service when I was about 24, and I was highly committed, full of idealism. And I remember elderly, I mean, now I'm 56, my colleagues then were in their early 40s, and they, like uh, a little bit with a scorn, said, well, there will come a day when you, when you will stop, you know, this, this kind of engagement. And I always said to myself, no, 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 I don't want to become like that. I still want to do my work, let's say, with a degree of love. That might sound a bit pathetic, but I strongly believe that you need this kind of love for your work and love for the people you work with. Uh, and uh, um, that was maybe still easy for me to make such statements back then when I was in my 20s, 30s. Uh, in the last few years, I, I have seen quite harsh setbacks in my life. And uh, if I may say, and again, I don't want to sound pathetic, but I was destroyed. And I accepted that destruction, which was also a moral destruction, not only a professional destruction. But I said to myself, every day when I started the morning, I don't want to become bitter, I don't want to become cynical. And uh, I hope that I can still manage. It's the daily challenge somehow. But this is the small advice that I may give uh, also to younger colleagues. Don't become bitter or cynical because of huge setbacks, be the personal, be the professional. Uh, because um, being bitter uh, is only harmful to your own life.